So I'm going to do an overview of the new Shopify upgrade for multi-channel support. This is a new update that they're going to be rolling out in the next couple of weeks. First, they're going to roll it out to 5% of people, then to 25% of people, then to 100% of people over the next month or so. So the biggest change um, that's being done is they're now making Shopify the central dashboard for all of your online sales. And the way that they're doing that is they're adding these links on the left hand side here to allow for each individual channel. So right now when you set up your Shopify store as a new store, you're going to get online store and point of sales. That's if you're using the point of sales system. If you're going to be also using um, a buy now button, which you can use to put onto a WordPress site or you can use to put onto a uh, Squarespace site, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to settings and then you'll need to go to sales channels in order to turn it on. Uh, it'll give you your multiple sales channels below and you just simply hit add channel. I want to add the Shopify buy button and what you'll see is on the left we will now have the buy button channel which will be added into your store. So the first thing I need to do to use this is I'm going to need to go and create products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the other changes and show you where the other stuff is and then I'll come back and I will show you how the buy button new app works. So first of all what they've done is they've shortened down the um, the product list or the, the navigation lift on the left hand side and combined a bunch of things. So either you're working in your home dashboard which is a whole new slew of updates as well as um, information pieces that come in and they all feed in from the sales channels on the left. You have your orders page, which is as similar as it always was before. When you have new orders in here, they will they will show up in here. So the order tracking and the order fulfillment is remaining the same. So for the most part, not a lot is going to be changing. It's the, all the external services that you're going to be working on that will change. If you go into products, you can see now that this small little list slides over, and now you can see where you actually add products. This is adding an additional click to the navigation. Um, well, time will tell whether it'll be annoying or not, but from what I can see, it looks like it's a pretty good idea. Uh, you've now got product list, inventory, your collections, and your gift cards all underneath the same um, product dialog box. The next one is customers. This is similar to the customer dashboard before. It hasn't changed at all. Reports, again, also hasn't changed. Still the similar reports, and the same with discount codes. Discount codes are being done the same way. The biggest change is where you're going to go in order to get access to your theme settings. So if you go to online store, you can see this is where you're going to get access to doing your overview, your blog posts, changes to your pages, your themes, your navigation, and your domains. Um, for us as Shopify experts, this was the biggest change for us because we need to be able to go in and modify themes and so on and so forth. Once you get into the actual pages themselves, they're exactly the same as they were before. It's just the navigation that you need to use to get there is an additional click now. So um, point of sale, same thing. You have your, your overview and your locations like you would uh, previously. Um, next is the buy button. This is that new buy button app that I was talking about. And finally, the settings button on the left will allow you to change all your settings. So your general, your payment, your checkout, your shipping, your taxes, your notifications, your gift cards, your files, your account, and again, your sales channel. So um, as well as your settings for the online store and the point of sales store. Um, that is pretty much the major changes. Uh, if you click on this guy here, this is your view your, view your website button. Um, it used to be down at the bottom. Uh, they've removed those buttons down from the bottom now and they've moved them up here. So if you're looking for view your website, that's where that one is. If you click on here, this is now your new login, logout button, as well as your hire an expert and your community forums as well. So they've reduced the number of buttons that they have on the navigation in order to make it a little bit cleaner uh, for you to use. So yeah, if you have any comments or you would like to know where something is, leave it in the uh, comments down below and uh, good luck with the new dashboard.